Hello everybody. So I was riding my bike because I wanted to check out this neighborhood that my store that I opened that failed used to be in on 522 Third Avenue. I opened it seven and a half years ago and I closed it seven years ago. It was a total fail. And Erica saw that there was a building for sale right next to a Whole Foods that was on the way there. You know, I'm not, not exactly in the market for a building at the moment, but I just thought I'd take a look at it. And one of the things that is definitely kind of curious, let me just turn on the high beam so you can see this a little better. It doesn't seem to make a difference. So the one, now I'm not one of those people that thinks that like every single little thing needs to be 100% revamped to make it ever so slightly more accessible. I think you should make, you know, reasonable efforts to make things more accessible. That being said, like, how the fuck do you get in here? <laughs> like, how the... <laughs> I mean, you need to be an athletic customer in order to get into the store. And like, how, how, how long until my first lawsuit? Bonk! <laughs> no, seriously, you got a door up there. I mean, how do you... Even if you put a ramp here, it's gonna have to go out into the street in order to actually be usable. It's crazy. Also, it's for sale with Corcoran, which means it's going to be two to three times as expensive as it should be, because usually that, that's what that sign means, in my also, experience. it's right next to a Whole Foods. Too. Yeah, it's next to a Whole Foods. Isn't that lovely? Hey, what, what, what if this takes like three or six hundred thousand dollars off the building? I mean, you know, what if they wanted 1.6 million for it, but because of this step, I can say I'll give you 200k. What? No. That will be kind of worth it. No. Yeah, take off 1.2 million for the step. I just kind of wonder, is it haunted? And the only reason why I ask that is nobody took it. It seems like it's an old building and it just makes me think if there's some kind of Well, it's Gowanus. Spirit and Gowan in there. Gowanus is dead. So I'm in my, with the store that I had here, I gave up once I had over 97 customers that had a credit card billing zip code of this neighborhood go to the First Avenue store. So this store in this neighborhood with customers from this neighborhood did worse than my other one in Manhattan. Like nobody noticed that I existed. I'd have one customer every three to four days of people. If I look through the whole place, there has to be foot traffic somewhere. I mean people do need to eat, but besides that I don't know how else they're going to find I mean that's the thing, even though it's Brooklyn, you can see that the roads are a little bit wider, it's a little bit quieter, there's a tree every now and then, you know, you don't see trees very often. Uh, look how big this pothole. No bumper to bumper traffic. Look how big oh this my pothole god. Is. Yeah, I'm glad I avoided look, look this on my, the way. Look at my foot, you guys. Can you see the foot? What the? Okay. Erica, why are you wearing Minnie Mouse pants? Huh? Because I can! I love my Minnie Mouse pants. You should get Disney to pay you for wearing them. All right, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Yeah, I move the batteries up so that they're closer to the center of gravity. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Some nice straps, 500 pound limit there. Erica. Can you play with my turn signal? I want to show them all my turn signal that it's nighttime. Check this out. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Oh, that's awesome. All right. See you all and later. And your mirrors, too. And I have mirrors.